Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel Exotic Sense with Nikhil and this is going to be a special video which will open your olfactory horizons to a totally new experience. Now guys, we are talking about artisanal ouds today. You have heard uh, a lot of reviews from me regarding ouds of, you know, all kinds acquired from uh, regular houses, inexpensive houses, very very affordable traditional atars. Some uh, are the premium stuff from the West, some from the Middle East, but this is a totally new experience for me. Now, I, I always used to think, why would someone pay so much for uh, something which is easily available in the market for less than $1, $2? Yes, I'm speaking the truth because you can see out there in the streets, Oud oils, Daniel Oud oils or others for a really cheap price and it really astonishes me. I hope this video will be a detailed extension of something that you have already seen in one of my uh, videos uh, before which was a beginner's guide to Oud. So this is an advanced level. Uh, I'll give you three categories and you have to decide you are, you know, at which level at this very moment of your Oud learning. This will also help you, you know, slowly and wisely make choices that will ultimately lead you to this extraordinary or spiritual Ood experience uh, which is the third category uh, in my uh, humble basic classification that is uh, you know something which I created from my own olfactory experiences and this is the third category known as artisanal Ood's or aesthetic Ood's. So the first one is affordable Ood's. Now affordable Ood's will have two categories one which is easily available in the market, you know, the traditional shops, the other shops that we have in our community or otherwise. Then the second category would be Oud in perfumes offered by designer houses. These will usually have the faintest drop of genuine Oud oil and most of the times, 90% of the times, uh, synthetic Oud replacements. It's just the Oud Accord and it is a generalization of Oud. The second category is a little higher on the, pedestal, on the pedestal of olfactory experience related to Ouds and that is the luxury or the premium category of Ouds. It has two branches. The first one is the luxury branches in the West. Now if you go to uh, Roja Dove, if you go to a luxury boutique by Roja Dove, you know Harrods which has everything, Jovoy, or, or if you're visiting, uh, you know, uh, Fragrance Dubois outlet or even Zerjoff you'll realize that these guys also have uh, been selling others or perfume oils and also genuine Oud oils which they have sourced uh, from their various journeys. So this is the category two. Now category three is where I place artisanal Oud artists or the aesthetic Oud artists. And this is a completely new experience for me guys. Now we are talking about a spiritual experience, a really uh, challenging experience because these ouds have not been derived from the market. We are talking about ouds in their most natural form. Now, these artists by default uh, would be, you know, commonly understood uh, as, uh, you know, master perfumers. For example, master perfumers in the West, uh, in the West who have been developing uh, beautiful perfumes and even oud based perfumes uh, and blending them into a beautiful, you know, harmonious symphony, uh, especially uh, the talented art artists from Grass. But imagine something, you know, which was created in nature itself, something created by the hands of God itself. Now, these ouds have to be nurtured and taken care of and not to be messed with at all. This is the category of artisanal or aesthetically distilled ouds, my friends. And there are a lot of companies whom I reached, you know, personally because I wanted my subscribers to get the best, ex best experience and most importantly, an authentic oud experience, you know. And this video should also reach out to my lovely brothers in the Middle East who have been, you know, the prime oud connoisseurs as the world would have you believe and which is not at all the truth. Oud has been in existence in the Eastern cultures for a very, very long time. In fact, time immemorial, if I may say. 
the Chinese have been using oud since ages. The Japanese have been using ouds since ages and uh, in India or uh, the Middle Eastern cultures, this whole belt, this whole Eastern belt is, uh, has, been ooding, uh, has been using ouds for a very, very long time. So that is one part of it, which you need to know. And it is almost like, you know, me trying to bust the myth, which actually exists of our own accords, our own beliefs. So the most expensive or the highest highest uh, you know regard highestly uh, uh, highly regarded oud is from china it's known as kiara and is almost inaccessible at this very moment even the last beautiful green kiara on ensar oud's website is now totally unavailable to everyone else because the last bottle was sold out and it can go up to you know uh, $500 for just one gram of the oil and you can imagine no one would want to uh, make oils of such expensive agar wood. In fact, it is, uh, you know, almost exist, uh, almost extinct in the world. So what we have here are some of uh, the oils, you know, some of these beautiful oils that are still available in the market. So this category of artisanal ouds has ouds from the, uh, from the very nature itself. So just imagine the most beautiful jungle, you know, just, just, just imagine it in your brain for a moment. Just imagine the most deepest jungle with these beautiful, old, aged agarwood trees soaking up the natural elements, the natural soil. Just imagine the most pristine, clearest water uh, from a river flowing, you know, just uh, next to it. There are beautiful flowers, beautiful white flower, uh, flora. Uh, you know, for example, jasmine or shampaka, ylang ylang, and uh, you know some others around it. Now, this wood actually imbibes or absorbs all these elements into its fragrant resin, from which, or the oil in the agar wood, which is distilled carefully with love and attention, so that the most you know, you get the user, the end user gets the most premium quality or an oud which is totally unadulterated, an oud which is absolutely untouched and in its most pristine form. We are talking about such ouds in today's video, guys. Uh, now, I also believe that when nature, you know, tries to make its own perfumes, no other perfumer uh, in this world can match the total or the complete natural profile of that scent. Imagine yourself, you know, sitting on a tropical island, uh, you know, with that fresh, warm, oceanic breeze hitting your nose and you get these beautiful whiffs from the beautiful flora around you. Imagine the most beautiful, creamy, buttery, sweet, romantic, sensual champaka and sambak jasmine reaching your noses. Can you actually replicate those notes in a fragrance? I'm afraid in my belief, in my belief, at least it can never be replicated guys. So this is what we are going to present in today's video. And first of all, let me thank a team Ensa. When I tried to reach them out, they were so happy and they were also very, very enthusiastic in sending me these samples. So let me show you the samples, the sample box. First of all, this is the highest regarded, one of the highest regarded Oud perfume oil maker in the world and he is none other than Ensar Oud. There's also this generous person Adam who is the main you know guy who is the main guy running the show and there's of course the master Ensar himself who's who's been working day in and day out to source these beautiful oils from all the parts of the world from the deepest jungles in the world and you can make that out in these perfumes. So first of all, this is a complimentary set. Let me be honest with you, but I am in no way obliged, you know, to, you know, be praising them just out of obligation. This is just out of sheer respect that I need to mention that these guys are absolutely mind boggling. Some of these oils are really, really expensive. So just imagine when they're sharing the love with someone for uh, you know with at least a humble reviewer like me uh, who does not have the subscriber count as one million you would understand 
how precious these oils are to them and how precious is this moment for me as well because now i know the whole journey of mine has turned upside down this is a new beginning for me and i you know and i hope i'll be able to give you the best olfactory experience and also the premium information regarding all this stuff so that you can also understand your oods better now there is another aspect to this artisanal or um, as i say aesthetic oud market and this is regional signature the term regional signature now what we get in the general market we assume we assume of course that these ouds are barnyardish animalic leathery so whatever stinky notes that we get in our perfumes is oud and i'm really sorry to bust this bubble for you guys we have been totally ignorant and we must go out step out of our bubbles that we have created around us and you know experience the extraordinary or at least the real thing as you know these masters would um, you know um, at least uh, you know i i'm i'm not getting those words in my mouth guys now because uh, this is a totally new experience for me and i'm really flabbergasted so basically what i'm trying to say is these guys are trying to give you natural oods that's all so i bring you three oods from the five samples that they have sent me and uh, the first one that i'm going to mention is green papua so when we talk about regional signatures this is from the region of papua so if you look at the oil you can see that it's a really dark resinous thick oil now the regional signature or the scent profile of this is as i mentioned you know just imagine those trees to have imbibed all the natural elements in that geographical setting so when we are talking about green papua papua is actually the region in southern east uh, southern southeast asia where these oils are derived and uh, i believe these species are aquilaria gyrinops these are very popular because they are very very non offensive citrusy kinds of scents a green scent that i had mentioned in my previous video which was the basic guide to oods this has a very fresh citrusy minty profile i'm going to be brief guys because i want to just give you an impression of these so it is a fresh minty vibe that you'll never experience in any oud you know at least in the general market it's 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 something very very uh, you know refreshing rejuvenating which you'd use in summery weather there is no barnyardishness to it there is no leather there is no dirtiness to the oud here it almost feels down, uh, you know feels like a dry vetiver dry minty vetiver in the dry down it's a beautiful scent the other one in this list is i would you know i would like to believe this to be probably one of the safest scents oud based oils artisanal oud oils in the market this one is known as oud yusuf 2012 this was distilled in 2012 a beautiful golden hue amber hue in the in the uh, little flacon that i have this is a sweet floral perfume it's a perfume guys it's got a top note a heart note and a base note unbelievable you would never get such a profile from a single accord now oud is a very complex entity and oud yusuf is probably one of the most non offensive scents out there in the market which will give you the sense of white florals especially champaka a very beautiful rose as well and also the lovely soft golden hue from the agar wood unbelievable but you must try it out because i think this is probably the safest oud for anyone now the last one in this list that i'm going to talk about today is a premium oud from china almost extinct and this is probably the last one of the last drops that i received and uh, also very very expensive you if you've seen the documentary scent of heaven you would you would be aware of the term kinam now this is a scent profile which also imbibes in itself some form of some accords of kinam in the dry down so this is known as hainan hinan 2015 it is a dark ambery liquid you know a tad darker than what you saw in the oud yusuf and this is still a dark golden or i would say almost a reddish tint to it this hinan is 800 dollars for 3 ml astonishing isn't it but guys that's what i'm trying to tell you this is not what you should look at the price that you pay for this oil is not because that this 
you know, is something which was done by a master perfumer. This is a limited edition. This is limited edition of nature. It cannot be recreated. That is why you are paying so much money for it. The wood, the wood which was used uh, in the distillation of this oil is extinct. You cannot find it in the natural uh, world, you know. So the wood from this uh, kind of species uh, is only available, you know, in the premium exclusive niche market, super niche markets. And it goes up for almost thousand and thousand of dollars for as little as three grams or four grams or ten grams of, you know, the actual wood. So you can imagine how special this oil is. And this oil is meditative stuff. It is psychoactive. It is almost, uh, you know, spiritual. It, it is something that will help you connect to your inner self. This is the scent which you need while you're meditating, while you're, you know, uh, contemplating on your life. It will take you on an olfactory journey which you have never experienced in your life. In my experience, if I was given a chance, I would sell my entire collection for as less as 5 ml of this oil because it would last a long time on my skin. And the experience, a beautiful strong agarwood scent, typical of the highest grade of agarwood. It almost feels like second skin, all right? That smell, that beautiful, gorgeous, uplifting smell. It dries down slowly into this shampaka like beauty all right and there are some really inexplicable elements or accords in the background which are typical of the kenum you know the kenum agar wood which is very very rare almost extinct and highly highly priced not in the markets uh, only but also in the hearts of the most enthusiastic or the most involved oud connoisseurs this an extraordinary, extraordinary experience and thanks to Team Ansar, I am really, really highly obliged. My eyes have been opened. Whatever I had been sourcing, whatever I had been experiencing, this has taken the whole thing into a newer dimension. And at this moment, I'm in touch with a lot of private distillers who tread, you know, uh, on these extraordinary journeys, just like Team Ansar, people like Feel, uh, Feel Ood, also Taha from Agar Aura and uh, then we have Agarwood Indonesia, uh, Mr. Mohammed from Agarwood Indi Indonesia and uh, also uh, Joseph Dilap from uh, Rising Phoenix Perfume Lab which is based in the United States. These guys have been in the business for a long long time, in the journey for a long long time and uh, they have some extraordinary sense with them and I'm glad that I would be able to share with them, uh, share uh, those beautiful gems with all my subscribers in subsequent videos guys now i'd like to end this video on a lovely note i found this review you know on uh, uh, you know ensa's website for their specialized product which is known as green kiara the most premium agarwood on earth which is almost extinct now it's no more available at least on their website i'll read out that a little bit from that review for you and i'll end my video at that uh, it goes like this. Ouds are a true blessing, not just as pleasurable sense, but as latent spiritual realization, if one is willing. The most important thing here. How beautiful and how, um, you know, this is so thought provoking, guys. Such a lovely experience. I like you know, exploring uh, newer scents, extraordinary scents acquired from the rest of the world, from different parts of the world. And this has been a true eye opener for me. And I really am excited and also a bit nervous when I tread on this path. This is your friend Nikhil from Exotic Sense. Take care. Goodbye.